Welcome everyone, this is Mike from ZozoStockWatch.com and this is your Let's Get Ready and Stock Watch list for uh, the week of Monday, December 4th through December 8th. And uh, guess what made it on the uh, cover of uh, Barron's uh, over the weekend? Here's the uh, Barron's cover. And I'll bring that over. And that's right, Bitcoin. Bitcoin storms Wall Street and Bitcoin makes the cover of Barron's. And uh, currently, uh, Bitcoin, uh, let's see, was over 11,000 when I was looking last uh, close to 12,000, uh, but pulled back currently trading. I think it's trading like 11,325 on uh, Bitcoin. So uh, Bitcoin making a, a big move over the weekend. Uh, the Senate on Friday passed the uh, tax reform bill, uh, 51 to 49, uh, moves to next conference. So, um, you know, the tax bill got through. Uh, so Barron's, like I said, talking about Bitcoin. They also said uh, in the uh, Barron's that the uh, banks have room to run. So banks get a mention, XLF, also uh, Salesforce, CRM uh, may have up to 25% uh, upside. Uh, that was mentioned in Barron's over the weekend. And this information is provided to you by the uh, Trade Exchange Very Fast News Service. Uh, top to insider purchases uh, Friday that came out, uh, NLSN, SNGX, uh, BDGE. NLY and uh, KW CEO purchased uh, 50K on uh, KW. So there's some insider purchase information that came out on uh, Friday. Uh, let's go and scroll through any news that also uh, came out over the weekend. Uh, you know, Korea was actually, North Korea was quiet this weekend. Um, CVS is buying out uh, Aetna for about uh, two hundred and seven dollars a share, uh, so that's gonna uh, that deal went through, and um, so that was announced the deal to be announced. I'm doing this video Sunday around uh, five o'clock my time, so it looks like it's going to be announced shortly. Um, ZYNE had news over the weekend, so keep your eye on uh, Z. ZYNE announces new uh, ZYN and 002 data from STAR-1 studies in patients with uh, focal seizures. So uh, might be a move in uh, ZYN uh, Monday morning. OVID, OVID, uh, new data demonstrating potential of uh, TAK. And then you see the number there as a novel uh, uh, treatment for development and uh, epileptic uh, and uh, so, you know, they had news to OVID. All right, so there's some news that came out uh, over the weekend. Friday, we had that news with uh, Flynn. All right, so that uh, the market uh, bounced off that news on Friday, but that's still kind of hanging out there. Uh, you know, he Flynn pled guilty Friday to lying to the FBI. Um what else? Then we had the Senate passing the GOP uh, tax bill. Uh, last week, North Korea was testing more missiles, so that's still on our plate. Uh, how this whole thing with uh, Trump is will transpire is yet to be determined, so we're going to have to see how the uh, futures are tonight. Um, but, you know, the uh, GDP came out, and uh, the GDP uh, was revised upward uh, this week. So that was a positive for the market. Uh, the financials have been uh, very strong. The transports were uh, very strong last week. There was a, a like a nice uh, sector rotation into the financials and into the uh, transports and also into, I guess, some of the metals and uh, mining stocks and whatnot. Um, you know, strange thing uh, on uh, Wednesday was the uh, Dow gained 100 points and the NASDAQ uh, was fell on uh, Wednesday last week. Um, so, uh, you know, definitely some sector rotation going on. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the options call activity. This is a letter I get uh, each day from the trade exchange. And we have a uh, call activity uh, from Friday. Uh, Twitter's making that list. Call activity, uh, PZZA, CBS, CTL, uh, Hertz, 
OIH, that's the Oil Services ETF. Uh, NUE, that's a um, that's a, a steel stock. All right, Nucor. And then to the put side, we had a PG PEGI and a Snap. Uh, unusual put activity on uh, some of those names there. Uh, for top gainers from Friday. Uh, we had uh, AMWD, uh, CASI, that should read CASI, no U in that, uh, FMI, AMBA, XNET, NTNX, uh, they had earnings, so they had a nice uh, push on Friday, uh, CGG, SHOS, APRN, VIRT, PLUG, PK, uh, PRKR, excuse me, and then uh, PLUG, uh, you know, making a nice move on a Friday. Uh, to the downside, uh, we had SOGO, TEUM, YRD, Ulta after their earnings, INFY, um, and JP, SIFY, uh, YRD, and uh, WIT, all to the uh, downside there. Uh, you know, it's kind of light with um, macro uh, economic, uh, economic information uh, this week. You know, the usual things, you know, we have the API crude out on um, Tuesday. We also have um, uh, the usual jo uh, oil numbers coming out on uh, Wednesday at 1030, uh, but pretty light, you know, just the standard stuff coming out, nothing uh, major except until we get to uh, Friday, and then we have the uh, employment report, all right, the uh, non-farm payrolls uh, numbers will be coming out Friday at 830, so uh, keep your eye uh, open for that for Friday around uh, 8.30. Uh, just one Fed speak uh, this week. And then just like I said, some standard stuff. We do have some numbers coming out from Asia on uh, Thursday night. And then uh, Monday night, uh, we have some numbers coming out from uh, Asia also. But uh, the main thing is that Friday information. Um, as far as the sectors uh, this week... Uh, we had uh, consumer uh, discretionary up for the week, consumer staples, uh, energy had a very nice week. The finan financials, like I mentioned, the XLF, uh, the XLV was up this week, the industrials up this week, the uh, material stocks, XLB also up. And then to the downside, uh, we had the XLK. Um, so that's pretty much your uh, spiders for the week. Um, and uh, with energy, let's see, consumer discretionary 2.39% and energy 2.8% uh, were the uh, two main leaders uh, last week. Um, you know, our fear and greed uh, index currently now is at about uh, 70 on that. So uh, fear and greed, uh, you know, moving up a little bit as you can expect after that big week. Uh, in the markets, you know, the NASDAQ not really participating like the Dow and the transports, but uh, yet, you know, this gauge is up at 70 now. We'll see where that's going to head. Um, we do have some uh, earnings coming out uh, for the week ahead. And uh, so we're not completely done uh, with earnings season as of yet. Um, I don't think earnings are ever uh, done <laughs> anymore. Uh, you know, there's always companies uh, reporting, but we got uh, Coupa uh, Software, C-O-U-P, um, and then we have a retailer coming out on Monday after the bell, um, and that's uh, ASNA, uh, Asina Retail Group. So uh, we'll see how that one does. Coupa. Coupa is a C-O-U-P, if I forgot to mention that. Uh, G-W-P-H, G-W Pharma, uh, right here before the bell on Monday. And then uh, some bigger names coming out Tuesday before the bell. We have uh, Toll Brothers uh, coming out before the bell. Uh, A-Z-O, AutoZone. Uh, BMO is a bank of uh, Montreal. Uh, what else? G triple I, uh, G triple I apparel. So another retailer, uh, Home Depot supply HDS is, um, going to be before the bell Tuesday. Like I said, Toll Brothers, TOL. And, um, so some, you know, Barnes and Noble, uh, we have uh, restoration hardware coming out on, uh, Tuesday after the bell, Viva, 
uh, after the bell symbol there is V double E V restoration hardware is uh, R H uh, play Dave and Buster's also coming out uh, Tuesday after the bell P P L A Y Dave and Buster's I don't think it's showing here oh yeah here it is Dave and Buster's right uh, then we have another retailer coming out uh, before the bell on Wednesday A E O so, you know, as you can see here, Fred's another retailer. So a lot of retail stocks uh, having some earnings this week. Uh, Broadcom, a, a, a semi, AVGO symbol there. Lulu, Athletics, uh, L-U-L-U, -L -U, the symbol. Uh, Okta, O-K-T-A, symbol there. And let's see, Bluebird, a bio stock, B-L-U-E, symbol there. Jinko, uh, J-N-K-S, Con, C-O-N-N. Uh, what else do we have? Siena, C-I-E-N, Dollar General, DG, um, American Outdoor Brands. Let's see if I can pick up the symbol. I forgot that one myself for America Outdoor Brands on uh, Friday. Uh, AOBC for America Outdoor Brands. They used to be the old uh, Smith & Wesson. So AOBC will have their earnings on um, Friday. I'm sorry, Thursday after the bell. And then uh, Johnson's Outdoor for Friday. Uh, and don't forget uh, Fizz, F-I-Z-Z, will be reporting earnings uh, national bev f-i-z-z -Z, will be reporting our earnings during trading hours i have here uh in the chart that i'm looking at so you know fizz will be reporting earnings too so you know uh some important earnings coming out for the week ahead so just be um cognizant of that uh not too much on the macro uh for the economics until friday is a big number i guess and um so we'll go ahead and uh, look at some markets and let me get this out of your way. And we will scroll through, you know, some of the moves in the markets. Um, let's see, the NASDAQ composite uh, for the week was down a tad. Uh, the Dow Jones Industrials were up for the week 2.86%. All right, and let's just go back to the NASDAQ because I was a little quick on that. This is a weekly chart you're looking at. Um, we're still above the 10 SMA on the uh, NASDAQ. Uh, as far as the Dow Jones goes, a uh, nice move here, uh, distancing, distancing itself from the 10 SMA. So maybe a little bit um, on the overbought side here on the Dow Jones, uh, like I said, was up almost 3% for the week. Um, we also had the uh, IBB uh, doing a three for one uh, split on the IBB. Uh, so we're trading, you know, still above the uh, the uh, 50 SMA on the weekly here over here on the daily the black chart holding above the 200 SMA uh, on the uh, on the daily chart here for the IBB uh, the IWC let's go to the weekly first here uh, up you know almost 1% on the IWC that's the uh, micro caps the IWM also up over 1% for the week uh, looking to maybe break out here to new all-time highs uh, and if we go back to the IWC also looking to break out to new all-time highs there on both of those uh, the IYT uh, you know, the transports for the week. Look at that big candle there up over 6% for the week on the transports and a nice pop there in those transports. And you see um, the action uh, Friday uh, when that Flynn news came out. Uh, the market sold off rapidly, uh, but then, you know, recovered most of its uh, losses. Uh, and let's look at the Dow Jones, you know, came down a little bit below the five EMA here on the Dow Jones, but the uh, buyers stepped right back in and uh, pushed this up right back up over that, uh, you know, 24,000 uh, level for the Dow Jones. So very nice recovery uh, Friday uh, after that, uh, you know, Flynn news with Trump and the lying and the whole bit. Uh, one of the sectors, SMH, you know, taking a brief pause here. Yes, that's an ugly candle, uh, but we are still holding right around that 10 SMA on the uh, on the weekly chart here for the SMH. Uh, you know, if you look at it uh, on the daily chart, we did get back over the 50 SMA, this blue line you're looking at for the SMH. Um, and, you know, you could say they were kind of due for a pullback. I mean, they've been running straight up on the uh, SMH. Look at this weekly chart. 
I mean, yes, this is an ugly candle and some big volume came out, uh, but it did rotate back into the market. It went back into the transports and whatnot. So, um, you know, bulls have to be happy about that. It's not like the money left the market. It just found other places to go. Uh, if we look at the SPY, you know, the SPY moving up nicely uh, for the week, up 1.57%, almost 2% on the uh, SPY and the same reaction, you know, we got that pull down and then the dip buyers stepped in and uh, pushed this back up. So nice recovery there on the SPY. Uh, let's go ahead and look at uh, Nat Gas, which is not really doing much. So very ugly chart there. Uh, oil, uh, nice um, for the week. Well, actually down on uh, the USO, down about a 1%, but the oils um, were moving up this week. So I'll show you some of those. Um, and also, let's look at the uh, OIH. That was up almost 5% uh, for the week on the OIH. That's the oil services stock. You know, such names like Schlumberger, Halliburton, uh, Rig uh, were both up. I think BHGE, yeah, Baker Hughes, GE. Uh, that one uh, not, didn't do too much uh, this week. But, uh, you know, Rig, Schlumberger, Whoops, sorry about that. SLB, um, HFC. Um, that's actually a refiner. Sorry, I take that back. HFC is not an oil services, but SLB and Halliburton, uh, they are. Okay. Um, so the OIH did uh, very well, and I showed you that uh, call uh, unusual call activity that was going on in the uh, OIH. Uh, you know, the VIX popped. Uh, for the week, the uh, VIX, as you can imagine, you know, volatility came back into the market with uh, that pull down on uh, Wednesday and then Friday, that uh, sell off. Uh, the VIX for the week gained about 18% uh, in the uh, VIX. So a little bit of volatility uh, back in the uh, markets. Uh, here's the uh, oil chart uh, that I wanted to show you. And uh, we're back uh, right about the 200 SMA on this uh, oil chart, uh, holding above $58, uh, you know, and that $55 spot held. So we'll move our caution line here. If we ever break that uh, $55 area again, uh, you know, that would be something we'd have to watch. But right now we're above it. If we look at it on the uh, daily and actually uh, on the daily, uh, you see we're kind of pushing up and out here on the uh, oil. Uh, next stop, part to get over is uh, about 58.99 so 59 bucks for oil we'll see how it does at that uh, test 59.05 a couple of recent highs for oil so let's go ahead and take a quick look at some of the top names real fast and some of the action in uh, apple uh down uh, over two percent for the week as it got up to uh resistance here around that uh, 178 area for apple on the weekly chart uh but you know all these stocks have had a big run apple uh amazon uh, Google so a little bit of a pullback in them as you can see here Google still holding above the uh, 10 SMA Amazon you know had this big powerful move up it was due for a little bit of a pullback not even much damage done here on the uh, weekly chart if we look at it on a daily chart we're still holding above the 20 SMA for Apple on the daily chart you know this one is trying to get back over the 10 SMA kind of uh, struggling there right now with Apple Google on the uh, daily chart is below the 20 SMA but still holding above the uh, 50 SMA for Google uh, Tesla uh, you know holding below the 200 SMA right now for Tesla so this one is kind of neutral right now as it stays below the 200 SMA and you notice the uh, 50 uh, may be crossing the uh, 200 SMA soon so we'll see if um, you know Tesla can hold this uh, 296 uh, level and what it wants to do there on a Tesla NFLX uh, Netflix holding this 100 SMA but back below the 50 SMA on the uh, daily chart if we look at it on the weekly basically we've pulled back to the 20 SMA on the weekly Facebook uh, you know was up here at resistance around that uh, 180 spot a pullback to about the uh, red line here the 20 SMA uh, 
on this run we've been holding you know this trend line right here we've been holding over the 20 SMA for uh, Facebook and here we are again at the 20 SMA uh, for Facebook on the weekly if we look at it on the uh, daily chart uh, we're down here you know near that trend line from the weekly and then we're at the 100 SMA uh, but they did close it back above the 50 SMA for Facebook but you know uh, you know it was kind of due for a little bit of pullback it's had a tremendous run in all these names and like I said we've more of or less excuse me more or less doing a uh, you know sector rotation right now it looks like so far all right and then we'll look at uh, some of the bigger names in the uh, Dow you know here's Caterpillar hanging strong here on the daily and the weekend weekly for Caterpillar uh, Cisco uh, strong on the uh, daily chart here holding that 10 SMA holding uh, you know making new highs here on Cisco uh, some oil names, CVX moving up. Uh, let's check out ExxonMobil uh, starting to come up off the bottom here on ExxonMobil on the weekly. Uh, there's ExxonMobil popping on uh, Friday. Uh, we'll look at IBB. IBM uh, trying to get back over the 200 SMA. These are mostly, you know, all your Dow stocks. McDonald's looking very strong. Uh, Boeing, uh, a little bit of a pullback here on Boeing. If we look at it on the weekly, though, still grinding and holding above the uh, 10 SMA on the weekly chart for Boeing. Uh, Home Depot, a uh, big push up on, uh, you know, last week and Friday, uh, you know, just in this nice, big, strong move up. And of course, we'll check Lowe's, uh, that one holding up nicely on the daily and the weekly. And you see that big pop in uh, Lowe's, L-O-W, up over 6% for the week. Uh, we'll look at J&J &J holding the 10 SMA. So, uh, you know, it looks like a nice chart here. If you can get back over, you know, these highs from Friday around that 141 area on J&J. &J. All right, so that's some of the stocks in the Dow. We did the Amazon. Uh, AVGO, one of the uh, semi names, they have earnings coming up this week. Uh, still holding above the 10 SMA. NVIDIA. Uh, you know, pulling back to about the 10 SMA on the weekly, uh, still above the 20 SMA. Um, if we look at, uh, let's see, what did I want to look at next? Uh, some of the banks, JP Morgan, uh, very nice, big moves here in the uh, banks uh, this week. Citigroup, Bank America, uh, some nice moves. Uh, WFC. Uh, pulling back a little bit uh, on Friday, but still back above the 10 on WFC. Uh, Goldman Sachs, strong move. Zion, a regional bank. KRE, uh, the regional bank ETF, nice big move there. So the money was rotating, like I said, into the banks. Uh, HBAN, another um Another regional bank, big pop there, up 7% for the week. So a very nice move in uh, these banks. Uh, let's check out, you know, some of the other names like uh, BABA. Uh, for the weekly chart, you know, we did have this stick down, but we're holding above the 20 uh, SMA for BABA. If we look at it on the daily, coming down to that uh, 100 SMA right now for BABA. Um, some names in the biotech sector, BIIB, excuse me on my typing there, uh, Amgen, uh, trying to make a nice move up there, trying to get back over the 50 SMA, Celgene, uh, still kind of in the doghouse here, Merck, uh, still in the doghouse, but turning back up, you know, the five crossing back above the 10, uh, its counterpart, uh, Pfizer, uh, looking much stronger um, as far as, uh, you know, a chart here. If we look at uh, Merck on the uh, weekly chart, uh, you know, you see that it's trying to hold this, uh, you know, 53 area, 53.63. So we'll call it 53. Uh, looks like it's an important level right now for Merck on this weekly chart. Uh, but, you know, still has work to do. We have uh, the 200 SMA curling down. The 50 is turned down. Uh, even though we're getting this little bit of a pop, you might get a push back up to fill the gap here on uh, Merck. Uh, next up, you know, there's the Bitcoin uh, and Bitcoin uh, pushing up GBTC, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, uh, was up over 11,000. I'm not sure where it is right now. Uh, I think it had pulled back, though, from that uh, over 11,000. So 
Uh, we'll see where Bitcoin will take us uh, next week. Uh, some other, you know, kind of uh, off the beaten trail uh, ETFs like Robo, uh, you know, the automation ETF on still, you know, holding above the 10 SMA on the weekly chart. Here was the damage uh, done. Uh, for the week, uh, down about uh, 2% for the week. So really not much damage here in Robo. The other one is uh, bots, artificial intelligence, you know, still above the 10 SMA on uh, BOTZ, the daily, you know, holding above the 50 SMA. And uh, if we look at hack, uh, the uh, cybersecurity, uh, not looking too pretty here on the daily, but the weekly uh, still holding above the 10 SMA on hack. All right, uh, copper, uh, you know, still holding above the 10 SMA for copper. Um, and let's see, what else did I want to go through? Uh, social, S-O-C-L, uh, pulling back here, still above the 20 SMA on the weekly. So basically that's some of your markets uh, for the week. I don't want to go into it too much because uh, the video will get too long. Um, if you want... I'll do uh, some of your best stocks and worst stocks for the week now. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at those. And um, I'll bring that up in one sec. All right, so I'll go through these uh, rather quickly. Uh, DPW up 125% this week. PXS, these are your best stocks for the week. A shipper uh, up 123% for the week. ARGX uh up about 20%. Lazy Boy, after their earnings, stock was up 18%. CVNA, uh, also up about 16%. Zoe's, a uh, nice pop there, over 16% for Zoe's. ERII, uh, Pollution Treatment Controls, up 14% for the week. XOMA, a uh, nice pop this week, up about 10% for the week. Uh, Teva, on the uh, best stocks for the week, up about uh, 11% for the week. So Teva making a little bit of a comeback. Um, then we had uh, SBLK, another shipper, up 11% this week. Starbolt Carriers. Uh, Macy's having a strong week. Some retailers had very strong weeks, uh, up about 15% on Macy's. LB. Uh, L Brands up 15% uh, for the week. JWN also up 11% for the week. So I have to see if that carries over uh, for uh, next week. Uh, we had CSX, uh, a lot of strong moves in the transport. CSX up 10%. FedEx up about 6%. Uh, an airline, uh, LUV up about 9%. Save uh, up 11, 12% for save. Uh, like we talked about the banks, I showed you the banks already. UTSI uh, was had a very strong week, up 37%. CPRX, uh, big strong bio uh, drug manufacturer, excuse me, up 26% for the week. OHRP uh, up about 68% uh, for the week. So uh, and like we said, the VIX was up about 18% for the week. Uh, TOCA. Um, was up 15% for the week. AMWD, uh, this was up 33% for the week. Uh, An IPO, SFIX, very strong week, up 27% uh, on SFIX. Stitch Fix uh, was up strongly. HOME, after their earnings, up 28%. TLYS, another retailer, popping 25% for the week. FMI, uh, drug stock, uh, up 27% uh, for the week. Uh, RF, RDFN, this is a recent IPO, was up 17% uh, this week. EXPR, uh, up 30% uh, for the week on EXPR. APA, also a nice pop, up 7%. Um, CMG, uh, coming up off the bottom, up 10% for the week. And RGC uh, on takeout chatter, uh, up 18% for the week. And oil name APA, uh, I think we did this one, up 7% uh, for the week in case I didn't do that. And like I said, the banks are all popping this week. Citigroup up 5%. Uh, Zion up uh, 8%. Uh, BAC uh, up 6%. JP Morgan uh, up 7% and XLF for the week up 5% for the XLF. Um, let's go right in. We'll look at some of the uh, worst stocks uh, for the week. 
And um, some of these names uh, are related with uh, Bitcoin. Uh, Riot did not have a good week this week. It was down uh, 36% for Riot. SRAX uh, down 22% for the week. MOMO after their earnings down 30% for the week. SQ uh, down 22% for the week. SOGO uh, down 14% for the week. YY down 16%. Autodesk after uh, their earnings. Uh, this stock down 17%. Um, Xnet did not have a pretty week. Down 38% on Xnet. OSTK uh, down 34, 34% for the week on OSTK. MU uh, kind of a little bear market here on SQ. Down 15% uh, for the week on Micron. NVIDIA makes our worst stock for the week. Uh, down almost 9% for the week. And CY took a big hit this week. Down 13%. ALRM uh, down 13%. Bita took a hit. Uh, down 14%. SMTC uh, that stock was down 16%. EKSO uh, they had news uh, with Ford, and the stock popped, and then it gave back 18%. Uh, KOOL, they did an offering. That one was down 19% for the week. WDC taking a, a hit this week, uh, down 14% uh, for the week. And uh, Twitter, which was going strong, uh, was down uh, 8%. Uh, for the week. So a little pullback there in uh, Twitter and that makes one of our worst stocks for the week on that pullback. So that's your best and worst stocks for the week and we'll go ahead and get into uh, the watch list uh, real fast. Uh, we'll do this off of the daily chart. First one up is uh, AXAS. A nice pop here. Uh, looks like, you know, if you can get up through that uh, 220 area on AXAS, you might get a nice uh, continuation move. Uh, this is an oil name. So I think I might, I have a lot of oil names. Uh, BB. Uh, why uh, this one had takeover chatter we actually traded this one in the Omnovia room on uh, Friday we got a nice move so this one uh, will be on watch for BBY um, Cassie C-A-S-I uh, looking for a continuation move in this name 1.6 million shares traded uh, Chris uh, coming up off the bottom here uh, 5.3 million shares traded so keep your eye on uh, Chris for continuation there uh, CYC pharmaceuticals uh, 1.3 million shares you know looking for this two dollar break sorry for all the lines from my uh, intraday chart looking for that uh, two dollar uh, break on uh, CYCC uh, depot a uh, nice continuation move here. Uh, we'll see if this one wants to maybe grind a little bit higher. 1.6 million. Uh, DNR, an oil name, uh, trying to get over that uh, $2 level there on uh, DNR. Keep that one on watch. It's in the right sector, that's for sure. Uh, DPW, uh, you know, needs to get above 205 area for DPW. This was on one of our best stocks for the week. Uh, we'll see if this one wants to continue back up. Uh, dry ships. Uh, let's look at this one on a 30-minute chart real fast. Uh, so if we draw lines here, you know, it still needs to get above. For me, it would have to get above this 430 spot on a dry. So uh, keep your eye on that area, maybe 430, 450 right now for dries. And then maybe you get that uh, test of uh, five bucks. Uh, this is a 30-minute chart you're looking at. Uh, if we'll go back to our uh, daily chart, uh, next one up is ECYT. And you see this consolidation going on here in ECYT. Um, I think, you know, if it can get back over, you know, maybe 530 or so on ECYT, we might get a nice uh, reversal push up there on that name. Uh, ENSV, Oil uh, Gas Equipment Services, um, you know, Amex Stock. Uh, trying to get back over uh, 75 cents here on this name. So keep your eye on that one if you like to play those under dot one dollar name. Um, for a bigger name, a Fang maybe. Uh, you know, this is a more expensive name, but uh, it's in the right sector. Uh, let's see, what's the high here on this name? 
Uh, it has 112, 113 uh, area, so maybe if it can get back over, you know, 112 for a continuation move in FANG, uh, not a favorite. Um, HK, another oil name, uh, you know, over the 750 spot on uh, HK. All right, so keep your eye on that one, uh, on that uh, HK over that uh, 750 area for that name, another oil name. IO, another oil name, you know, popped, pulled back, uh, holding this uh, 1250 area, trying to get back over. Uh, let's see if it gets back over the highs from Friday around 1435. Uh, volume is a little bit light in this one, so it's probably going to be spready. So that's the only problem with that. Uh, IPDN. Um, you know, volume was around 500,000 shares. It did get over uh, five bucks, uh, 532. I'll have this one on watch. Internet content. Um, I don't like this. I didn't like the fact that it didn't uh, hold above five dollars. So, um, not a favorite, but it'll be on watch to see if it can get back over five bucks on that name. Uh, you know, Monster looks like a beautiful swing trade uh, could be happening here over that like 6305 spot from Monster, MNST. Don't forget, though, uh, Fizz is going to be having their earnings coming out, so that might affect uh, some of these names. Um, let's see, MRO, another oil name. Uh, we have a topping tail here at 520, 1524, excuse me. And then we have another topping tail around 1528. So, you know, it probably has to clear uh, 1530 uh, to get interesting for uh, MRO. Uh, MUR, a nice pop, 4.4 million. Um, the high was uh, 29.53. So keep your eye on that uh, 29.50 break again. All right. Uh, if this one wants to, uh, you know, get back over 29.50, uh, uh, we could get, you know, another nice move up there uh, for that name. All right. That's MUR. Um, another small one that had a big pop on Friday was this OHRP. Maybe some type of, you know, red to green type of move here uh, intraday on this name. Uh, so keep your eye on that one. And then, you know, some of these Bitcoin stocks, we have to keep an eye on like Riot, uh, Grow. Whoops. Uh, Riot, uh, Grow. If he could type, uh, so grow, you know, trying to maybe try to get over that uh, 450. Uh, Mara, we traded this twice on a Friday for money as it broke up through that $5 level. So we'll have Mara on watch, names like that, Mara, grow, uh, G cap, uh, another one that looks interesting uh, in that sector. Um, see if there's any others. Um, uh, we already talked about, you know, DPW is all a part of that uh, sector also. All right. Um, let's see if there was anything else uh, that I wanted to show you for a uh, watch. You know, then some other oils. You know, pick your poison here for the oils. You know, this SWN, if it can get back over, you know, 650. Uh, TGC, another oil name, had a big pop on a Friday here, nice big move up. So maybe like some kind of red to green or, you know, maybe later in the morning if you can get back over, you know, $1 on TGC. Um, let's see, GST is another small oil name. Uh, we got a nice pop. We were in this, we actually did a swing trade on this one around 92 cents and we got a beautiful pop up to uh, 110. Uh, so this one is still on watch, GST. Uh, USEG, another oil name, uh, not as pretty as the others that I showed you. Uh, I think this one would have to get over like a dollar thirty on USEG. All right, um, and then ZYNE, like I said, they had news that came out over the weekend, uh, so we'll see how this one is going to open up. Um, and you know, might need a few days to, uh, you know, if it really pops big on a Monday, we'll stay away from it and maybe it'll consolidate and give us a move later in the week. Um, you know, and I'm going to keep Twitter on watch. Um, you know, buyers did come in here on Twitter held above this 20 spot, but I don't like that. It's, you know, below, uh, this 10 SMA, uh, holding above, you know, holding right around the 20 SMA. So we'll see. It's not a favorite right now on uh, Twitter. Uh, Yuma, another oil name, 
uh, which uh, tried to uh, you know get over this 140. It didn't hold it. So I think if this can get back over uh, 140 on a YUMA, uh, we might get a nice uh, move in uh, this name. Hey, if you're looking uh, for a nice room, okay, um, I have the uh, Omnovia chat room and we do screen share all day. I make calls uh, that are tradable, all right? Um, all our call calls are, um, you know, in the room prior to the trigger, all right? You can lock in your price. If you wanted to try us, you know, right now, uh, you can try us for $44.95. You get a full month, all right? Full month and uh, it's $44.95. All right, and uh, you just go to zozostockwatch.com, click on the Join Me, and um, you'll see this right here. Click on that. You can get a full 30 days for uh, $44.95. Um, so uh, if you wanted to try my uh, chat room, we're going to be doing uh, three free days coming up in December, uh, the 12th, the 13th, and 14th, and you're welcome to come any, uh, any of these days or all of these days, uh, depending on your schedule. Uh, just email me at zozostockwatchincorporated at gmail.com. All right, if you email me here, uh, we'll get you on the list, and you can come either any one of these days or all three of these days, whatever you'd like to do. Um, so it'll be uh, three free chat room days at zozostockwatch.com, the 12th, the 13th, and the 14th. Uh, so please uh, email me at zozostockwatchincorporated at gmail.com. All right, and come... Uh, you know, try out our room. I think you're really going to like it. We do swing trading and day trading, uh, have screen share up, all the things that a trader uh, would need. All right. So that's your um, stocks. Uh, your kind of let's get ready for the week ahead and your combo uh, watch list. All right. And come join me for those free chat days. All right. And, uh, you know, come check out the room. I think you'll really like it. It's very professionally run room. Um, and uh, so it's, since it's going to be quieter uh, during those days, uh, I thought maybe we'd open up the room to you, to uh, my YouTube listeners and uh, you can come check us out either for any of those days or all three of those days um, during those that December week. All right. So it's the 12th, 13th, 14th uh, for the free chat room. Just email me once again at uh, zozostockwatch at gmail.com. All right, everybody have a very nice uh, evening. Let me see, what time is it? Um, it's 6 p.m. my time. Let me see if I can bring over the uh, futures for you. And uh, from what I'm seeing here, all right, we have the uh, Dow futures currently up uh, 167 points. We have the S&P futures up uh, 16, and we have the NASDAQ futures up uh, 46, 45 points on the uh, NASDAQ futures. Uh, gold currently down about uh, $7 for gold. Uh, oil, uh, you know, trading 58.23 for gold gold all right so um it's like i said it's just about six o'clock my time uh 601 so there's your futures and the opening of the futures and it looks like they're popping higher here futures uh 195 198 199 for the futures all right so this has been your zozo stock watch uh let's get ready and stock watch uh, video uh, for the week ahead. Um, I hope you guys find this video insightful. Uh, if you do, please hit the thumbs up. Um, if you have a, a Twitter feed, uh, if you would mi wouldn't mind uh, retweeting it, I'd appreciate that. And also, you know, uh, give a thumbs up. And um, if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. All right, everybody, have a very good uh, week trading. Um, I'll be putting out a stocks to watch list uh, Monday night uh, for Tuesday. Uh, trade safe. All right. Trade safe going into the holidays. And um, I'll be back at it with you on Monday. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, please retweet these. Hit the thumbs up. And also, um, if you're new, hit the subscribe button. Thanks once again.